I had big plans today. I was going to build this big antenna on the beach and uh, go work DX and do all that cool stuff. But you know what? There's a chance of rain, believe it or not, as beautiful as it is right now. Rain's coming. And I'm like, you know what? If I go out there, spend all this time to build this antenna, rain comes down. I don't want to have my good equipment out there or whatever. I know what I need to do. I purchased a used magnetic loop. Ah, on eBay, and I, I, I know I'm, I'm like a glutton for punishment. In the past, my experience with mag loops has not been stellar. I, I took one like everyone thinks they're going to do on the patio or a balcony or in a hotel room and travel with it. No bueno, man. That was just a nightmare for me. I did take mine out in the harbor, made some kind of local contacts, and then I took it out on the beach, and I made like one DX contact with it. And it was just like I, I joked in those videos. I said it wasn't enough juice for the squeeze. Well, I've seen so many people rave about the Alex Loop. The Alex Loop here by uh, PY1AHD, a Brazilian uh, ham uh, designer and builder of this. My I think is a little older one. I, like I said, I got, it was a bargain. I saw it on eBay, and it looked like a great deal. I was like, you know what? Here we go. Um, it's, it'll handle 20 watts, 7 through 30 megahertz. I'm like, you know what? Today was the day. Let's get out. Let's take the mag loop out on the beach. This is Ocean View here in Norfolk, Virginia. That's the Chesapeake Bay that leads out that way to the Atlantic Ocean. The OV, as we call it. I'm in Ocean View. I'm just going to go out on the beach for a window of an hour or two before the rain comes and, uh, and, and play a little, you know, with the mag loop and have some fun. Stick around. Okay, here we go. Here's my little uh, corner of the beach right now. It's nice. I love this time of year when the weather's uh, halfway decent. It is beautiful. Uh, there it is, my Alex Loop. I did purchase this on eBay used, but uh, really nice shape. Had everything with it, got the uh, case as well, but um, gonna get out here and play with it. I'm uh, aim it. I felt like I could just lean over, roll around and aim this thing. Now, uh, radio-wise, Yesu FT710 and what I did was I turned the power down to 20 watts yeah I know everyone's going to take your G90 I'm gonna be honest with you becoming a super fan of this radio I love it and I love operating with it I love the big screen tuner is good enough for me I have antennas that are you know decent enough for the tuner and uh, there you go so what I'm gonna do is uh, get out here play around with this a little bit and see if we can make some contacts here on my uh, Alex loop for uh, this thing operates from 7 to 30 megahertz you see the bottom there there's the box I know they do make a newer version of this and um, you can maybe find that as well but uh, this is just an easy day I got this thing up in like three four five minutes it was nothing to it pop it up and go that is a piece of PVC pipe that I drove into the sand that I just have it slid on uh, to operate with so there you go Let's see if we can make some contacts here at the beach. Okay, here's the trick to tuning Alex loop or any mag loop. I've learned this the hard way. Turn your RF gain all the way up. We go over here. And until you hear the noise for at its height, you're tuned. And here's another really cool thing that's nice. An Echo Alpha in Spain. To bring him in. There you go. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar seventy three. Uh, you are a very simple call sign. Uh, name Larry. Larry and QTH West part of the country. Microphone to you. Yes, uh, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I am a 20 watts portable with a mag loop on the beach portable in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Okay, okay. Uh, if you are portable with a loop on the beach, very fine. Receive you 5 and 5, 55. Good copy. The frequency is clear. No QRM, no splatter. It's uh, very easy to copy you, uh, Walt. Um, K4 OGO portable. Yes, K4 OGO portable. 
204 Oscar Golf Oscar. A very good morning. I think it will be with you or is it afternoon? I don't think. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a Mike Mike 7, Mike Victor Golf. Hopefully the name this side is John, Juliet Oscar Hotel November. And I'm located at the side Loch Ness in the north of Scotland, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. You are about a 5'5", five, 5'5". Five, five, five. I'm located on the beach in Virginia, uh, near the Atlantic coast here, uh, but just portable with a mag loop, 20 watts there, and I kind of aimed in your direction. You have a lovely signal coming this way. Back to you. Yeah, so, okay, you, you, you're about a 5'5", five five also, about a 5'5", five five also. Very good from the portable station. <laughs> I wish I was sitting down beside the beach. <laughs> Rather than the cold hills of the north of Scotland, Roger. Roger, Roger, we're having a, a very beautiful day. Oh, okay. Thank you. And uh, now the station portable low power, God. Yes, this is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. I am uh, 20 watts portable on the beach with a mag loop in Virginia. You're 5 9 10 over. Beautiful signal here on the Atlantic coast of Virginia there. Back to you. QSL, QSL. I, I did copy everything down. Uh, so I give you 5-8 with that magnetic loop on the beach. Very good signal at 20 watts. That is amazing. Propagation must be very, very good. Surely it is good. <laughs> There's no other other option. Okay, I didn't get the last bit there, but I got your call. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar Portable. Kilo Golf 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar Portable. My name is Al, Alpha Lima, and in the clear, you're about 5 and 3, 53 here in North Wales, over. Roger, Roger, you're about a 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, seven here in the clear. I'm on the beach, portable, 20 watts with a mag loop in Virginia here. Uh, your beautiful audio, though, great signal for you. About a 5'7 on the peak. Yeah, OK, I, I missed a bit of that, but I got it that you're using 20 watts. My business is 20 watts, and that you're in Virginia. So great, great stuff for the 20 watts from Virginia. I'm using 100 watts on a vertical antenna here. Uh, just go. Thank you for the 5.6. I've got you about a 5.6 as well here from uh, the top of a mountain in Nova Scotia. Thanks for hunting me today. 73. Hey, 73, I figured you were in the Maritime Provinces. I was uh, aimed at uh, Europe, which, and you're right in between me there, the first Canadian I've heard today. Here. Thanks for the uh, contact there. Can I get your call real quick? Victor Echo One, Mike Delta Fox Five. Is this Walt? This is Walt. Wow, your first time in my logs. I watch your YouTube videos. Okay, I take back every negative thing I've ever said about mag loops. They're just, I, I've said this in the past, it, it, it takes some work. And like you're tuning the radio, you're tuning the antenna. It's a, like where I'm situated here, it's working. Um, if you understand that and you kind of start getting the ear for it and get used to using it, it's a lot of fun. I've worked at every band from 10 to 20 uh, and some DX, some decent, really good DX in there as well. So where I'm, it, I'm aimed towards the UK, that's straight over there, so, and Northern Europe. So it, it makes sense, the contacts I've made. Um, I'm going to turn the uh, power down to 12 watts so I can somewhat say I'm legal. Uh, and I'm going to get on the 11 meter band now and let's, uh, let's see if we can make uh, a 12 watt, which is totally legal here in the United States, 12 watt uh, 11 meter contact. Let's give it a shot. Whiskey 040, Sierra Whiskey 040 in two division USA. Do you have a copy? Copy, copy, but uh, no signal here. Um, I'm listening 040 from stateside. Copy? Yes, copy, copy, 040 stateside. I am uh, just 12 watts, 12 watts uh, low power, uh, portable by the beach with a magnetic loop. You have a great signal here. You're about a S8, S8 here in New Virginia. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I see your signal is dropping up and down here. The radio 4x5, San Diego, the 3x5, yeah, not so strong, but I can hear you when the frequency is absolutely clear. Yeah, many thanks for the call. Uh, wish you best 73 and have a nice weekend, my friend, from Michael in Germany. Over. Thank you, Michael in Germany. The name here is Walt in, uh, in Virginia, USA. Great making contact with you, my friend. 73. Yeah, 73. Ciao, ciao. 
What a day. It is hotter than it was supposed to be. It's warm. It's like almost summertime here. Um, there's rain coming. Uh, I, I, you wouldn't know it right now, but I was looking, I was like, yeah, it's time to call it a day. Um, man, that was so much fun. What a blast playing with that. I take back every bad thing I ever said about mag loops, or maybe it was just that I didn't have the one I really needed. And this, uh, this Alex loop that I got is a, is a pretty cool thing. I, I enjoyed it. This will be a travel, a travel antenna with me. Maybe take a trip. It's so light. It's just a small little, uh, a little pack and it's super light. Got it up really quick. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed that as well. That, that was awesome. Um, I, normally, I don't do this. I always go to nice little local sh shops and get something to eat after I activate. But I've got this. This is the American Thanksgiving week coming up. And we have a chain of, uh, that has delis in it, um, a, a convenience chain here. Originally out of Philadelphia, but it, they've stretched throughout as, as everyone. It's what we call Delmarva, Delaware, uh, Maryland, Virginia, the, the, the coast, the, the, the Delmarva Peninsula, down into here where I'm at, uh, southeastern Virginia, Wawa, W-A-W-A, -A, Wawa. And they have, during uh, this time of year, they have this thing called the Gobbler. It is basically the American Thanksgiving dinner in a bowl. Let's go get one. All right, we're heading through the tunnel back from uh, the Norfolk side of the harbor to my side of the harbor, Portsmouth. There's a Wawa like uh, three blocks from my house, and uh, we're gonna roll in there and get us uh, get lunch after we come out the other side of the tunnel here. This is the downtown tunnel. There's two tunnels to connect Portsmouth and Norfolk together. There's the downtown tunnel and the midtown tunnel. Uh, this comes out right over where I live at in Portsmouth, the old town, the historic district. Uh, Portsmouth, Virginia, and uh, so on our tour back home, back to get lunch, a little history or a little uh, geography here of the uh, southeastern Virginia, Hampton Roads, Norfolk, Portsmouth Harbor, and uh, I'll show you where I'm at. Here we go as we're in uh, my part of the woods here, downtown Portsmouth. This is uh, today's uh, Saturday. We have our farmer's markets on Saturday here. So pretty cool, nice downtown area here, and it's a fun day. Saturdays are always fun. I'm, I live like two blocks from here, over in the house part. This is High Street. Uh, those of you that are uh, English know that the, the main city, the main street is uh, High Street and in Portsmouth. This is Portsmouth's High Street. And we're just a block away from Wawa. Here we go, Wawa, Old Town Portsmouth. And this is where all the Teslas park, and it's also a Tesla charging spot here and let's go inside oh there we go the wawa gobbler so you can get this thing in a bowl a sandwich or a wrap i'm a bowl guy let's go inside and order one up here we go let's order lunch bowls gobbler bowls there we go i don't like uh, the traditional um so what it is is turkey Dressing, potatoes, and cranberry sauce. I'm not a cranberry sauce guy, so I just get the, let's see here, mashed potatoes and stuffing, uh, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. I think I'll get some cornbread to go with it. Boom, there we go. I know, thanks. Complete my order. All right. Ah, there it is. My gobbler bowl, just a a bowl full of American Thanksgiving goodness right here. Let's dig in. All ah, right, here we go. Look at that turkey, gravy, dressing, mashed potatoes, cornbread. What more could you ask for? All that I had to get a diet Pepsi, but um, I'm a Pepsi guy, not a Coke guy, because Pepsi was developed right here in Eastern North Carolina. We call it the Pride of the Carolinas. But um, all right, let me dig in. Mmm, oh, this is so good. I love it. I know it's a chain restaurant, and I usually go to like a nice little private uh, mom and pop place. But um, I forever, forever, I've loved Wawa Gobbler Bowls. It's just something here in the Delmarva area that, and, and I know people are gonna go. It's a Philadelphia, yeah, Philadelphia too. We know you guys are all Wawa folks as well. But um, 
I think they got these, they've been expanding. I think there's Wawa's in Florida now, but um, not to sound like a Wawa commercial. It's just what I love to do. I love eating uh, a nice Thanksgiving meal because it means so much to me. Thanksgiving to me is a special holiday for you're not for Americans. Um, it really is a day where we reflect and give thanks for everything that we're thankful for. With that said, um, I'm as I'm eating my this is you know pre Thanksgiving meal here on the go. I want to tell you that I'm thankful for you guys. I thank you so much for subscribing, for watching my videos, for coming along with me as we do silly things and go to the beach and the seawall and all the places that I operate portable ham radio. Me getting out and doing this, I hope, I might really, I really hope that I inspire others to go out, make a day of it, man. Go out, build an antenna, make contacts, play radio. I, I love our hobby. And then and then go somewhere and have a good meal. That's what it's all about. That's what I really like to do. So my Thanksgiving uh, thoughts for today, for American Thanksgiving, is, is I'm thankful to all of you guys that watch, that say so many wonderful things in the comments. I'm even thankful for the haters, man. Thanks for hating. You're driving my numbers up as well. So anyway, hey, what a great day out there with that uh, with the mag loop as well. I enjoyed that. I, I gotta be honest with you, that was kind of a plan B, and I just it just when I was in the mood to do plan B this morning, it's starting to rain now, so I think I made the right move. Um, uh, I've said some pretty uh, negative thing about mag loops on live streams or whatever. That one's awesome as long as you know that to use a mag loop. Every time you turn that dial, on, even on a band, if you're on 20 meters and you move, you've got to move the mag loop as well. It's the cue on it is so narrow, but so awesome. And I made those awesome contacts. Also, um, I, I made an 11 meter contact in there, guys. I'm really on a mission to kind of open up and get more people interested. You see the operator in Germany that that contact there was that, the band was full of those type of people today working skip and having fun on 11. I mean, if you're an 11 meter guy, I kind of want to put a little bit more in it I, in my future videos. If you have a problem with that and you're a ham, hey, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? It's like a minute extra out of a video where I, I'll jump over. I'll, I'll probably more do, do it more with true uh, FCC type 12 uh, watt radios. Today I was in the gray area a little bit, but I did have the uh, power down to 12 and enjoyed that as well. Anyway, that's kind of my thoughts. Um, if you've made it this far, and you're not a subscriber, wow, subscribe. If you made it this far and you're just watching the video, hit the hype button, button as well if you're on a mobile device because um, it's kind of putting my uh, channel out in there a little bit more. We're trying to grow it and promote our hobby of ham radio, HF ham radio. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Happy Thanksgiving from the United States.